Hey guys, Zimster here with a new video on why you should be playing the shortbow in season four. Uh, there are many reasons and we're gonna cover them. I will break down the skills for the shortbow, stats, and of course, if you guys have questions, feel free to leave those in the comments and I'll be happy to answer those. And also, if you like this video, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, I greatly appreciate it. Let's get into it. Hey guys, all right, so let's go ahead and jump into the skills and my stats for the short bow, and then we'll go into some gameplay. Very first skill for the short bow would be the throw bola, which this is great for dismounting heroes off their mount. Uh, if that's something you're into, definitely use it. I'm not a big fan of it, but I know people that are fans of it, so definitely go for it. Uh, so next would be the stun shot. So the stun shot is by far one of my favorite abilities because you can stun them and then it concusses them. Uh, and the concuss is actually pretty good. It's about three seconds of them just being on the ground. So you can run up and do a bunch of abilities to them while they're concussed. So next on the list would be Steel Tipped Arrow. Steel Tipped Arrow, in my opinion, is one of the best or the best skill that short bows have right now because they give that gives you a 30% defense debuff on whatever target you're hitting for two seconds. So, you, I mean, it's only two seconds, but like you can do a lot of damage in two seconds. So definitely take advantage of that. Um, and it also impales two targets. So it's good at hitting targets far away like let's say archers you can kill two archers with one shot so this is also good for killing archers hiding in the back next skill is poison arrow so poison arrow um, has a ticker where for eight seconds you will have poison damage depleting your health i mean this is a good ability it's just in my opinion it's not really my style but i can see how this is really good because it stops people from healing so definitely check it out. Let me know if you have a build with this in it. I'd love to hear about it. Uh, next would be the parting shot. Parting shot has a lot going on. So parting shot, you, you slow the target by 30% for one second, uh, boost your damage done by 30% for six seconds, and then you have removes dazed effect. Uh, this has a lot of stuff going on, but the issue I have with this is the cooldown is 25 seconds. So. You only use it twice in a minute, uh, and that's that's a long time to wait to use this. The escape that I like to use is Rolling Escape 3. Uh, so uh, there's a lot of cool things you can do with Rolling Escape. You pretty much become invulnerable when you hit it uh, for three seconds. Or it's not even three seconds, maybe it was like one and a half, two seconds. It also removes concussion or daze effects, so it can get you off the ground also. Uh, and it also increases your movement speed so you can kind of get out of whatever the situation is. So by far, my favorite. So for my current setup, I am using the stun shot. I'm using the steel tip arrow, rolling escape, and angry hornet. So let's go ahead and talk about the ultimates. So the one of the ultimates is Wrath of Artemis, and this is, is a... It's a good ultimate, but I don't like how long it takes to perform the ultimate. Uh, I mean, both alts take 50 seconds, <clears throat> so it doesn't matter which way you go, it's gonna have the same cooldown. But in my opinion, I feel like I get more damage off with Angry Hornets, because what I do, which you'll see in some of the gameplay, is I'll stun them, I'll hit them with Steel Tip Arrow, and then I'll pop my alt, and all the arrows will hit. So the, the whole point of Angry Hornets is to get up close and hit them with all the arrows because you get a huge damage on that. And then you also get the ticker of poison drains for six seconds. So you can actually kill someone even after you've hit them a few times um, just from poison drains. So definitely take that into consideration. So let's jump into my stats and why I went with certain attributes. So I actually have really good rogue gear. I will brag, I have two pieces with 23 leadership. 
my bracers and my armor. Uh, so definitely work on your gear. Uh, season four gives you tons of powdered silver and hopefully you have some schematics to work with. You can get schematics from the seasonal store. Definitely try to get your gear a little, you know, try to get your gear a little better if you have to. Um, I'll tell you the stats you want to try to get to and uh, try to get your gear there. And you always try to adjust your attributes so they accommodate your gear. Like if your gear has tons of piercing damage, then you're going to want to add some piercing armor penetration, you know? So that's just an example. All right. So my stats, I don't put anything in the health. You're already squishy. Don't put, don't put any stats in the health. You're going to die anyways. If someone's really coming at you, um, your whole thing is escaping and just doing a lot of damage, you know, escape, do damage, escape, do damage. That's pretty much how you play the short bow. Well, it looks like so critical value is 254, which is actually a pretty decent number. Um, you want pretty high critical value, so your your damage does a lot a lot more when you hit crits. And then critical defense, uh, it's not a big deal. Don't worry about that. So piercing damage, I keep around 1.5k, and then piercing armor penetration, I keep around 1.5k. That's a pretty good mark to aim for. Um, it works great for me because I can kill tanks and I can kill squishies, no problem. So definitely look at your armor pen and see what works for you. This works for me, so I'd recommend this to other people. Try to get your stats around 1.5K for each. All right, so for defense, um, I did put some attributes into armor because I want my defense to be above 400. Definitely take into consideration if you have really, really low defense, you're gonna wanna put a little bit of armor so you get over that 400 mark. Um, and this is so that dual blades can't alt you and pretty much kill you. Uh, pole axes can't alt you and then do like two abilities after and kill you. Uh, so it really makes that difference. That little bit of armor makes a big difference. So definitely test that out, see how it works for you. But most of your attributes should be going into agility. Agility is by far the most important attribute on shortbow, but also consider looking at your strength because if you don't have a lot of piercing armor penetration you're gonna want some strength so i definitely put some in a strength also and that is pretty much all the information i have for you on stats and gear and attributes on that note guys thanks for watching this video i hope it helped you and of course hit that sub button if you did enjoy it leave a comment like the video hit me up let me know what you think of the video. I always appreciate your guys' feedback. And as always, happy hunting.